the new Neo Flow unboxing. Someone calling me. Okay, okay. So here we have the Neo Flow, Aquario Neo Flow, brand new pipes, and we're going to fix that onto one of our tanks in a minute. Just go through the features. Here we've got the the inflow into the filter, um, so that'll be hanging over, and this end goes all the way down to the. The bottom of the field, um, the outflow inflow pipe, and this will attach onto here. Okay, so that will just sit over the. I'll zoom in on that. I'll sit over the glass and go all the way. I think what we can do is, if you've got a shorter shorter piece of glass you can either switch it around or even maybe cut down here so cut through the the pipe itself down a little bit further down to shorten it anyway next thing we've got these awesome looking attachments made from acrylic as well so you got two of them and this is where your pipe will then go through this is where the glass is and then you, uh, they screw in tightly so that the pipe will go through there super clean you can set them up nice and cleanly next to each other or um, and I think it will look really nice on the glass together uh, with the inflow and outflow to at the same place I think they'll look nice and clean and I'll show you how they look in a minute when uh, I've attached it to the tank this is the outflow pipe out into the tank similar sort of well same sort of shape as the inflow uh, we've got a different attachment over here um, that is this one here this will just slide onto here and is adjustable so we can move it around depending on where you want the flow to go also just to be aware that you can buy an attachment to this which will have a super small neat surface skimmer we don't have them in stock at the moment, but we um, we will will let you know as soon as they are because they are super cool, super nifty, and they don't take a lot of space, which surface skimmers usually do. So this one is actually one of our well, we're looking forward to getting them in our shop um, because they do look awesome and are super handy, taking up minimal space. But yeah, so we'll. Give us a second, we'll, we'll put it all together and I'll show you what it looks like on the tank. Oh yeah, so I've just attached it just very quickly. I just wanted to show you before it goes in. Super neat. Take it off for uh, cleaning. And I think that looks pretty neat the way it is. I'm looking forward to seeing it with water. We're going to attach it to a Biomaster 250. So there's going to be plenty of flow as well. So we're going to see what sort of water disturbance this will create especially in a planted tank with um, CO2. So we'll see if that's adequate enough. But for me, from what the reviews have said, they look pretty awesome and they the results are pretty good as well. So we will see in about two minutes. Okay, so we got the uh, attachment on, the um, holder, the pipe holder, it's on. This little area here will go um, onto the glass and okay it's a little bit fiddly to put on um, but once you've attached it it's it holds it all in place now you can actually loosen these and adjust the piping up or down according to how you want it in your tank and your um, on with the water so as you can see at the moment I've actually got it too low this should be below here to be under the water 
So we've added them onto the tank now. As you can see, the hanger this is the hanger that will hold the piping super clean. Now I've chosen to put one on this end and one on the other end because it's a bit of a shallow tank. Um, but here you can see the outflow attachment. And I've actually swapped these around the back because um, I want this to be a little bit over the soil, a little bit higher. So I've just switched them around. But on a bigger tank, you turn it around. For this side would be, the long side would be on here and then the short side which will be where you attach the pipe. But this thing over here you can adjust up and down accordingly to where you want the, the outflow to go. Now I think what we can also do is we can actually cut here to make it look a little bit cleaner and closer to the actual tank edge. So by moving this down a little bit, cut over here. But for now, this is what I'm going to set it up with. I might cut it later on, but we'll see how it goes um, when, once it's attached to the filter. And um, now we need to add water, and we'll see. And there we have it. So, we're using a biomass. So we're going to cut these short, but just for video purposes, this is ready now. Like I said earlier, to make this look a little bit nicer, I think cut here and then attach this to here, and then we can lower this a little bit nicer, just to clean it up a little bit. But flow is super high. Maybe it's a little bit too much for this tank, for this type of filter, but super nice flow, nice disturbance of the, uh, the water. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this one. It was pretty good, and it looks clean.